Welcome back to Blythe Raw Live. I'm your host, Blythe Matt. Thank you. Woo! Raga, thank you. I like that. Broadcasting live from Los Angeles, California. We have a super great show for you today. Yay! We are going to be making some cinnamon El Natural beauty treatments on the show today um, and teaching you all about the power of cinnamon, so stay tuned for that. And in the kitchen segment, we're going to be making a living pepperoni pizza, darling, the pepperoni. Now, hopefully, you know me well enough to know that when I say pepperoni, what do you think I mean? I mean, watermelon radishes. It's amazing what cinnamon spice can do. So, and of course, gluten-free, soy-free, dairy-free, because that's what we're all about on this show. We are teaching you quick and easy live food recipes, raw health and beauty treatments, and some tips to let you live, or to help you live an environmentally considerate lifestyle. We have the gorgeous Erica Ann in our chat room. Thank you, Erica Ann. Thank you. She's from myedibleGardens.com. She's an edible landscape designer. Powerful work you do. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Um, chat with us. You can join crowd at the top of your player. And uh, if you have a Ustream account, and if you don't, that just takes a minute to sign up. Um, join us. Chat with us. Ask us questions. Right. Let's make a living pizza. Now, along the lines of this theme show of reducing plastic, I want you to know that you can make this entire crust and almost this entire pizza completely package-free if you buy your nuts and your seeds in the bulk. Now, high quality seeds and nuts are really important to me, so I always will buy essential living foods, seeds and nuts, and it so happens because they're so high quality that many health food stores do source their bulk section from essential living foods, which is awesome. And you can even ask your health food store in your area who supplies your bulk food and even recommend that they go with super high quality essential living foods. Awesome, so we're gonna be putting, oh, Erica Ann, you wanna see the end result of this pizza? Did we get an overhead of that? I don't know if we saw. Doesn't that look good, you guys? Woohoo! All right, Miss Erica, you wanna come try the pizza? And then you can, you can tell us all if we, if we need to worry about showing you how to make it if it's good. Let me know what you think. Okay. Katrina Love, you want to take this to the table? I'm sure the crew will enjoy that. Yay. So you see how you can make little personal pizzas, or we're going to make a big um, We're going to okay, make a big I'm pizza. I'm just going to eat it like a taco. Oh, OK, sure. It's a little like New York style. New York style, like thin crust. Flavorful, okay. herby. Mm-hmm. Has the basil and the tomato. Mmm. Even tastes a little cheesy. How'd you do that? The cheesy. I'm gonna show you in a minute. The little cheesy, cheesy. <laughs> um, so awesome. So basically, if we get an overhead here, this is all the ingredients that is in the crust. You can um, enjoy that. Thank you. If you'd like. So we have carrots in here, and red pepper, and jalapeno, and lemon, and this fennel bulb. Fennel's amazing. That's going to go in the composter. Uh, and then we put, this is flax meal. You can buy your raw organic flax seeds in the bulk bin. And literally flax meal is just the raw seed pulsed through. That's all it is. It's ground up, ground up flax seeds. Okay, so what we're going to do, whoops, we don't need to turn that on until the stuff is in there. So we put our tomato in there. And by the way, the recipes are up on blithrod.com. Did we get them up this time before the show? Or are they gonna be up after the show? We got them up? Awesome. So they're actually up in our, um, our, our kitchen recipes page right now. We put the lemon juice in there. We add all of our vegetables into the food processor. Super easy breezy like this. Now what a great way to get all these raw vegetables, right? Have you eaten raw fennel? Probably not. But now you're going. Now you are. Do you do you eat it raw? It, yes, it's it's divine. How do you grow this? Tell us about growing um, the fennel. It just needs well draining soil and lots of sun. Uh, work hard to keep the bugs out of it. They like it too. Oh really? Um, well, what's the, like a natural anti like pesticide for it? Uh, probably some uh, nasturtiums planted nearby. Something to draw the aphids away, or okay. even soap and water. Soap and spray. Water. Nice. Uh, it uh, likes to grow by itself. It's funny that other vegetables won't grow very well near it. So if you're familiar with companion planting, fennel is not a good companion. Oh, it wants to do for its anyone. own thing. For anyone. It wants to do its own thing. <laughs> so it likes to do its own thing. It has male and female bulbs, and um, any, but it's delicious. Nice. Yeah, it is. It's, and it's, very it's underappreciated. So and you can eat it raw. People don't know you can eat it raw. I put um, fresh rosemary. Of course, you can use dry, but I always like to use fresh. 
and then the flax meal, and then truly easy breezy, that's all it is. Pow, pow, and you blend it up. Now it does take about two minutes to blend, so we're not gonna do that blending right now. But I will show you the end product here and how we do it in the dehydrator. Now, I did this in the oven to show you that you could do it in the oven, just in case you don't have a dehydrator just yet. And it totally worked, so I would do it in the oven on very, very low. And I happened to overdo mine, and I made it too hard, but then I just turned it into crackers. And it was fine, so it was like, so you, so you can't really ever like break it, you know? Um, so what we do is we put it on, this is a dehydrator tray, it's our Excalibur dehydrator. This is what we call the Teflex sheet. Um, without it, the bottom is, you know, meshy. So it if it's goopy, it'll like droop through there. So that's the purpose of the Teflex sheet. Yeah, so these are pizzas. These have olives on it. These don't. Um, and really, there's innumerable toppings. I wish I would have done like a artichoke one. That would have been really nice. Or you could even do shaved funnel on the top. So we're making these pizzas. Um, yum, easy breezy. We just scoop out and we put our um, crust, you know, pretty darn thin on there. And I don't need to make it totally pretty right now because I'm sort of like half doing it just to show you guys how to do it. Usually the ladle makes for a good spatula like this. And this recipe will make like six um, of these small little pizzas. Or you could go big pizza style like I'm going to show you. Can something be uh, substituted for the flax meal? Uh, you know what? Yeah, you could try milled chia seeds would work really nice. You could try your own. You know what I love? I love sunflower. You know what sunflower is? Make it yourself. No packaging. Get your organic raw sunflower seeds in the bulk section with our reusable grain sacks. You guys never have to use plastic in the bulk section. Organic kind grain sacks. These are on our site. They're literally like $3 and they'll last you for like 50 years or more. And no plastic in the produce section with these garden sacks. So yes, sunflower is made from sunflower seeds um, in the bulk section, raw, and you just pulse them up. Hold, of course, you take the hulls off and you just pulse them up and you can do them with sunflower um, seeds. Yeah. No, you could, I mean, if you wanted to be. But Ooh, they're pretty, pretty, they're pretty have a lot of oil in them, so they probably are pretty wet already. It, yeah, and you know what, the oil soft, makes I mean. for a really nice crust. You know, it makes it, it's like you get that, you want that oil, that sort of, you know? So this is what we do, like after we spread it on the Teflex sheet, uh, and we put it in the dehydrator for about eight hours, then what we do, we put another simple dehydrator sheet on top of it, we do the old switcheroony, and then this we can usually put back in the dehydrator because it's clean, and then we peel this off, and hopefully it just peels off real easy breezy like that, see that? And see how it's just a little bit wet on the other side still? And then we'll just put it back in for two more hours like this. And you know, it's not, the time is not super important. If you put it in for two hours and go to bed and then it's just in there, it's not going to hurt it. It'll, it'll be just fine. So, and then we dehydrate it. And then what we want to do is top it. After it's done dehydrating, I had so many, you know, like stages of this preparation today. So by the way, you can make these crusts, make like six of them, dehydrate them. And then if you're not going to eat all of them at once, they just store, like really great. And um, if you don't do them as long, they can be a wrap like this. Um, like Erica said, they can be, you know, they can be flexible and can be eaten as a wrap or they, they, they can be really hard. So I'll just show you. Why not? Because I'm here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So I'll just show you what I do. Oh, so for the cheese, the cheese is next. And I'm not going to show you the cheese in here because it's so easy that you can do it without me um, having to blend all that. Uh, this is the end result of the cheese. But the cheese is very simply macadamia nuts, of course raw, of course organic, of course. Um, because that's that the, the reason why organic is because the reason why we eat is to nourish our body temple so we want as much nutrients as possible um, so that's why and of course raw because we want the enzymes um, and we talked about last week organic food has uh, sometimes from 20 to 60 percent higher antioxidants and other nutrients so we simply soak um, the nuts there's about a cup of each in this recipe simply add the herbs to it everything goes in here so we soaked our nuts in water overnight you can really do cashews and mac nuts you can really even just do for four hours but from four for four to eight hours soak them rinse them put them in the food processor with the chop tool we do our fresh oregano which i love so much and our fresh thyme 
herbs. Fresh herbs are one of the best things that we can do for our health. All herbs are incredibly antiviral, antifungal, antibacterial, antiseptic. They're all super good and they're super easy to grow, as you can tell. Um, so always add the herbs and then we add little lemon juice and nama shoyu, which is an, uh, a raw organic fermented soy sauce. If you totally don't do any soy, um, do tamari. Or if you're, there's a little bit of gluten in soy, so go with the tamari if you're um, totally soy and gluten free. Um, and then we mix it all up in the food processor and then pow, pow, bam, bam, that's what we get. We get a really nice cheese. Now this can also be uh, served as like a dip cheese. You know, like you could cut these into uh, you know, triangles and like serve as a dip. There's, there's a lot we can do with it. But we very simply, you know, just spread it out like this. Spread it out, spread it out, out. I need, I, I need some like music. I need, yeah, I need, I need some like spreading cheese accompaniment. We gotta work that out. We need a DJ on the show, yo. We need a DJ on the, oh yeah, there you go. Mm, mm, mm. I need a little beat. Give me the beat box, yo, yo. Okay, so then we just put, you know, easy breezy tomatoes on it. And then I'm going to show you guys the pepperonis, darling, the pepperonis. So how do we do the pepperoni? This is how we do the pepperoni. What is pepperoni about? The spice. It's about the spice. So it's all about the spice. So it's really easy to do it. Look at this watermelon radish. Do we see, do we see this watermelon radish on a overhead? Is this gorgeous hallelujah time? For real, like for real. Anything that's bright pink in nature just blisses me out. So really easy, I just use the mandolin here. You know, radishes are ready to eat from it within 30 days of planting from seed. No, tell me more, that's easy. Very easy. So like you put a little seed, how mm -hmm. much into the earth? Two inches, one inch? Oh, not even like a quarter inch. Quarter inch Very, into the earth. they're tiny little seeds. In fact, you can use them to mark rows of, for seeds that take longer to sprout because oh, really? they sprout so quickly and they're done by the time the other seeds germinate and have emerged. That's a great note. And lots of different uh, varieties. So like you have those or most people haven't seen those. Yeah, most people haven't seen watermelon radishes. That's a really good note. I'm going to grow some radishes. You should. They're so good for your liver. They're so good for your uh, kidneys. They're really cleansing. They're a great diuretic. I'll be just kind of like and get all spicy. of the. Yeah, they add a little kick, kick, kick. So look how easy this is, yo. We put a little olio. We do the olio. The olive oil. Darling. We do a little crushed red pepper and black pepper because pepper is where it's at always. Pepper always gives it a kick. We do fennel seeds because, like you said, we love the fennel. Those were actually anise seeds and then fennel seeds. So just that easy. And the recipe, again, will pop up in a second. And it's also on the website in the Kitchen Blogs recipe. And then this is how I marinate most things. I like to put a lid on it. And we just do the shake it, shake it. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the lemon juice. This, this also, it's nice to put some lemon juice in there. So that's what I do. And I usually let it marinate. You know, sometimes you can let something marinate like this for 15 minutes. Other times, like this, I, I did a big batch. This has been marinating for three days. I'd still use it. So it, it like it works either way. Pickled radishes are divine. Just pickled radishes. Yes, really, really. Tell good. me about a pickled radish. What do you do with it? What is the pickling? I don't know. I just ate one. You know, you know they put you that. Good. They put the fennel <laughs> bulb greens in the pickling because we go to a Russian store to get them and they make them fresh and they have those. So it's like fennel is part of the pickling we, we as well. We should do some pickling on this show. Isn't Let's it pickle. Live? Yeah. It's totally raw. Let's pickle, baby. Let's pickle. Let's pickle. So, you know, I, I could use the other radishes that have been marinating longer, but just to show you, how pepperoni is that, huh? How pepperoni is this, yeah? And, you know, you're getting, you're getting, you're eating this and you're getting, um, you know, mostly vegetables, some, some nuts and seeds. Oh, one thing I wanted to say, if you're allergic to nuts, you can very simply make this recipe with white sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, uh, hemp seeds. You could make it with flax seeds, although it'll be darker, but I would go with white sesame seeds or sunflower seeds. Or you know what? I mean, if you're, you don't have to be vegan. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you could do this crust because it's a lot better for you than a traditional pizza crust. And then you could throw some traditional organic goat feta 
on it. You know what I mean? If you wanted to do some cheese, you, you could do some cheese. Impressed Raymond G. Ho. All right, Raymond Ho, you impressed me. <laughs> you impressed me with your desserts. I wish we had you right here making a dessert with us. You live in Australia. You impress me. Awesome. So what we do is we put this in the dehydrator for two, um, for two hours, and then it gets warmed up, and then people will enjoy it. I hope all of our crew will enjoy it as much because I dehydrated them this morning, and so they're not like as that like slightly warmed um, kind of thing. But but that's what we do, and we are checking in with our producer Brad Wyman. Um, you know, I don't think you know. I don't think Brad Wyman's going to make the meal that I just made. I wish that he would, but I don't think that he will. But you know what? He's producing this show because he loves the eat healthy lifestyle, and he wants the eat healthy lifestyle for himself. So I want to show him quick and easy recipes. So I want to update him with some new inspirations. We've given him on this show um, spirulina and chlorella from Essential Living Foods. These are high-powered green powders. So it's like if you don't have time to make yourself a green juice in the blender or in the juicer, throw some of the green powder in your shaker and go. And we've, we've taught him about maki, which is an awesome super fruit from Essential Living Foods, and acai and camu camu. And today I'm going to be sharing with him um, mangosteen and goji berry powder. Woohoo! And you know what? Right now, actually, um, Essential Living Foods is having a superfood bundle special that if you order, you get uh, this goji berry powder for free, which is awesome, along with this really cool, huge thing of pink Himalayan salt. So check out that on the website, on our website, blaythraw.com. Uh, if you click on B Shop Home and you go into the Essential Living Foods, check out their superfood bundle because it's really awesome. So I, one of the things, you know, it's like, Sometimes if you go with just the green drink, like if you go with just the greens and the, the aki, it's like really intense. And if you go with just, these are awesome um, powders as well. These are from Growing Naturals. These are raw brown rice uh, protein powders and rice powdered milk. But sometimes it's like, do I want a vanilla shake or a chocolate shake or do I want that? Sometimes you, you want both. Like I want, I want to feel fuller and if I just do like the spirulina and the maki or the fruits, I don't really feel full. But if I add it with the powdered rice milk and the protein powder, I will feel full. But I still like to get those fruits. Mangosteen is one of the most outstanding things that we can possibly eat. I'm going to go ahead and put that down here. Um, so we're going to be mixing the goji powder with the mangosteen. These mixers are awesome, by the way. This has a little like metal shaker thing in these, and you just shake it up. There's a lot more we can do with these powders besides shaking them in water and drinking, but I want to show you how easy it can be. I mean, we can make amazing recipes with all of these awesome powders, but the point of this segment is like easy breezy. How can I get my nutrients without having to like plug in anything? So goji berry powder. Pow! Look at that color. Mangosteen powder. Pow! Let's really learn about these superfoods. I don't want to intimidate you guys with like too much superfood information, but I want you to know the power of superfoods because these kind of things, it's like don't take a, a vitamin that has binders and fillers to make it into a pill that's harder for your body to digest. Go for the bioavailable, 100% pure superfruit powders. Um, and then I, I, I really love the rice milk and um, the vanilla powder. It makes me feel more full, like it's a complete meal, um, rather than just having the, the fruits and the greens. And then I usually, too, will go with a little like spirulina or green, because you guys know me. It's all about the greens. Um, but I'm just gonna give Wyman like a little like fruit shake, just like this. Little fruit shake, just like this. Wyman, you want a drink? You don't have to come on if you want to. You want to come on? Yay! Yay! Take you to go. I want to be like Raymond Ho. Yay. <laughs> you, and you know what you're feeling about her, you're looking about her? It's like your superfood activation. What do you think? It's good to mix them, right? Because sometimes you like don't just want... What do you think? This is really good, Blythe. Isn't it good? Yeah, I could do this. It's a, and, and it's a full meal. You feel it, and yeah. you're, you're getting more nutrients by adding the mango it's steam really and the good. goji powder. I could do it. You can do this, though. Yeah. I can do this. And we can I get can rid of the that. fat chew. <laughs> I can do it. You look I can great. Do it. Thank, you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's awesome. Easy breezy, because, you know, me too. It's like I'm, I'm in the kitchen making foods all day, but sometimes I'm starving, and I need something awesome quick. 
Sometimes I don't feel like blending things, even though I blend things all the time. So I do that a lot. I simply shake and go a lot. I want to show all of you that, you know, if you're the kind of person that's like, I don't feel like anything for breakfast, I just want coffee and go, that's not your highest good. Or if, you know, for some people, this, what I'm going to make, can actually be dinner too. We can kind of do like fasting sometimes where, you know, it's like if you don't have the kids and, you know, you're sitting there, you're hungry, but you don't need to go you know, make yourself a big heavy dinner. You can have something like this for a light dinner and see how much better you might sleep, see how much better you might wake up in the morning. So I'm gonna to put together, this is um, a raw fermented brown rice protein from a company called Growing Naturals. This is a highly, highly integral company. What I love about this is that they have a powdered rice milk. Because I don't, you know, it's like when you're quick and eat, you know, when you wanna be quick and easy, you don't always wanna make your protein powder in a smoothie. Like, I don't know, would Brad put this in a smoothie with like berries and a banana? That seems I, easy enough. Yeah. Seems easy enough, but will people do it? You know what I mean? Like some people are just like, I'm not gonna make my own blended food or whatever. So a lot of times the protein powders just like don't taste that good with water. That's true. This is powdered rice milk and it's organic. And I, you know, I'm, I have never really been that into powders cause like I wanna pick it in my garden and I wanna eat it. But when it comes to, man, I'm hungry, I just need something on the go. I mean, let's face it, we don't always have time to make ourselves a green drink. Well, for me too, I like I have trouble getting, all the foods I like don't have a lot of calories, so I guess I'm fortunate, oh, really? but I'm I have trouble chocolate. keeping weight on. So I need the powders and the protein, like I love that one or Sun Warrior. Yeah. That'll give me a little extra, protein, extra pack, you know, punch to my, my smoothies. Yes, yes, it gives you that little extra a little extra yeah. calories, a little more nutrition. And what I like is that you just shake it and go. I put a little water in the bottom so it's easier to shake, but you, you can't get any easier than that, um, shaking and going. And this actually tastes really good. And I've done it with the vanilla powder. I just put chocolate powder in. I've done it with the vanilla powder and added a drop of my um, nutmeg essential oil, and it tastes like nutmeg. Oh, oh nice. there you are. Yeah, I'm making this it. for you. It's good. Uh, do you like chocolate milk? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty much chocolate milk. Yeah. Except for, you know, the good way. The good way. No dairy, of course. There's no dairy. Um, great company. I live on this thing. I'm going to give you this thing, too. It has a little thing inside. Really easy to shake. Great breakfast. Have this, and then follow it with an apple. An apple. He loves yeah. apple. Tell me what you yes, think. Yes, I do. Mmm, good. Are you, you're not even on camera. Yeah, you're yeah, you, you're, you're not in frame. Oh, good. good. You're, Do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> good. Like you're gonna, good. I want you to drink it. Here, this Looks is really here. Good. I want you to take this too. I and you're gonna take this. these home. You can do I this. Can this do is this. like your breakfast. This yeah. is like your lunch in a pinch. Yeah. I mean, of course, you have to have salads, and of course, you know, you've got to have fresh stuff, of course. But even like. If you don't have the boys and you know dinner, it's like getting something yuck or like just doing this for dinner because you gotta fill your belly. You for can do dudes. it. It's for dudes, okay? This is like the quick thing for dudes. You just eat. The bisque. So easy breezy. We're using tomatoes, red pepper. We're using these little onions that I love. We're using fresh basil. We're using sun-dried tomatoes. We're gonna, of course, use a little bit of sea salt and black pepper. This is the Growing Naturals original protein powder. This stuff, Growing Naturals is organic, raw, sprouted brown rice protein. Brown rice protein, awesome, awesome. So we're gonna use a little bit of that. Um, and then we're also, we're gonna use a little tocotrinols. This is also from brown rice, this is really high in vitamin E. And then I might get really fun with Erica and put a little red maca in there to superfood it up a little bit. Let's see if she's gonna like that. <laughs> uh, you want me to superfood it up a little bit for you? Put a little sure. red maca in there. What is I red maca? Yeah, red maca. What is it? What is it? It's, it's red maca, but I mean, I know, but. <laughs> yeah, it's a root. It's really helpful for uh, hormonal balance. Oh, I could use some of that. Seriously, right? Oh no. So I use the, I use the seeds, of course, and the red pepper, because seeds have a lot of life in them, a lot of power. And we just put everything in the blender. Just like that, and remember, you know, when we use foods that have a really nice, uh, smooth skin on them like this, that helps to tell us that it's really good for our skin.
Okay, that, that, that right there is the presence of silicon. My mom so. used to say that when she'd make us eat the green bell peppers in the salad when we were kids. She goes, it's really good for your skin. It's going to oh, help really? with your pimples. And we're like, ugh. Ah, but I mom. love them now. I love the red and the orange peppers. See, mom knew what was up. Yeah. Mom knew what was up, right? A <laughs> couple of times. Sometimes we don't think they do. <laughs> okay, so we're putting a little onion in there. Um, then we're going to do a little sun-dried tomato. Sun-dried tomato often gives it a, like a little bit of like meaty texture. And I do cut up the sun-dried tomatoes a little bit so that they blend better. Um, I'm gonna put some white sesame seeds. You guys know sesame seeds are really good for you. There's two components in sesame seeds, uh, sesame and sesamolin, which are, um, they're part of a fiber group called lingdens. They're really, help, um, really helpful for lowering cholesterol and lowering blood pressure. See, this is the thing, you guys. Using food to do all that means that we don't have to use pills to do it, okay? Right? Yeah. Can I hear a what, what, yeah. what, what? <laughs> I'm going to use a little bit of celery seeds. By the way, the recipes are on blitheraw.com right now in the kitchen segment. On the recipe, um, you can use celery salt, too, if it's a non-starch celery salt. Just FYI, we got to use a little celery seeds because celery seeds have power. So tocotrienols is a great way to add more vitamin E to your diet. So this is also optional. Like you can do it with just the fresh foods and the spices and the oil. That's going to give you a great tomato bisque. But if you want to superfood it up a little bit, um, we love to add a little tocotrienols to it. And you don't need a lot. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon. Okay? That's all I'm going to add. Okay, that's going to that's gonna help Erica be even more beautiful. And then I'm also going to add uh, this red maca for hormonal balance. And, of course, there's a lot of minerals in this. Minerals, 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 friends. That's what makes the world go round, minerals. And where does that come from? These are essential living foods. And then I mean like oh. the maca. Uh, I think it comes from Peru. Yeah, it comes from Peru. And it's a root. It's a root, so it's very grounding. And then, of course, you know, it's grown in really good soil, so you get, so you get the goods. And then we're going to use a cold-pressed organic... Um, olive oil, always cold pressed oils, uh, heated oils, the molecular structure of the oil changes and it becomes uh, sort of unfamiliar, almost like a plastic in our system and it is injurious to the liver so we always want cold pressed and ideally organic oils. Then we're going to put a little bit of our protein powder in. This is what makes it like the bisque, right? And then we're going to put a little black pepper in. Black pepper, you guys know how much I love the black pepper, it's powerful stuff. We're going to put a little of our uh, B Raw Body Pink Himalayan Sea Salt in there. What else are we going to put in there? I think that's it. I think I got it all. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Katrina. What would I do without you? Seriously, I would have been making the tomato bisque without the tomatoes. Okay. I can't use the excuse that I had a late night last night. Um, so I like to cut up the tomatoes a little bit just so they blend super well. And it, once again, when we see the tomato, we see that beautiful skin that's nice and soft. So we know, uh, according to the doctrine of signatures, that that's good for our skin. And then we add a little water. And then we blend. And we're going to have to all dance together while we blend. Because we're going to have to blend this for like at least 30 seconds. Ready? Action. I want an iPad DJ on the show. Anybody know an iPad DJ? I want to be like rocking like Lady Gaga while I blend. I love Lady Gaga. Is she fantastic? That girl, man, that girl had so much adversity in her life and she rocked it out. She got kicked out of her music school in New York. Told her she's no good. Seriously, she got like removed and told by like the prestigious teachers that she wasn't quite, quite there. Jason so let that be. DJ for you. Who's J Jason? Jason? Jason Escape? Escape. Yeah? All right, Jason Escape. Thanks. We, we we need that. We need a we need to rock it out on the show. So I'm gonna try this before I give it to Miss Erica Ann, uh -huh. um, just to make sure that I hit the spot for her. Mhm. Mm mmm. Yum. Easy breezy, fabulous. Love it. Love it. Girlfriend, can I give you some soup? I would love it. Love it. Love it. Let's go ahead and put that in the sink. Now, this is light. This is yummers. Try it out. All right. Now, what you can do, you guys, is you can make it the night before, put it in the fridge like this mm. for lunch, 
and take it to lunch with you. This is a working glass with a lid from Crate and Barrel. Literally, this is like three dollars. The glass is like two dollars, and the lid's a dollar. You just get better and better every week. Thanks. You like it. Mm. I really do. It's light, right? And it's it, it is. It reminds me of my grandma's stuffed peppers, though. I mean, there's like a real body. Hearty. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you know, raw mm. soups can be like the new salad. You know, it's like if you're having a cooked meal, if you're like cooking barley or wild rice, or you want something comfort food, cooked food, you can have a raw soup instead of a salad. It's really good. And raw soups are like what a great way to eat your raw veggies, right? Because you might not sit there and eat a raw tomato and eat a raw red pepper, but you can blend them all together. Mmm, the celery, it can taste all the different ingredients in here, it's really good. Good, and you know what, then you're getting those superfood, superfoods with the tocotrinols and the red maca too, which is a great way to take those, right? Yeah. Yay! So, and remember, you know, this is what I do. If I, if I want to make it the night before, if I have a busy day, I'll put it in a glass and put it in the fridge. And you don't, it doesn't have to stay chilled. Um, so if you, in the morning, if you leave for work, you don't even really have to put it in a cooler bag. There's also shorter glasses if you have like if, if this one doesn't fit in a cooler bag, if you want to take it, you can use a shorter one. We have some here actually. I also, so that these sizes too. I also like, if I make this in the morning, like I might have this for breakfast. I'll keep it out on the counter um, for the whole day and have it the rest of it throughout the day. It doesn't have to stay chilled because I like room temp soups. I don't like cold soups. So that's how I do it, okay? Now we are gonna make our apricot walnut boat. So we can rethink lunch a little bit. Because, you know, lunch doesn't have to just be sandwich, soup, whatever. We can do something creative with lunch. And this is what we're going to do. Walnuts, super high in lecithin. What does lecithin do? Lecithin builds the brain. How cool is it that this walnut looks like a brain, right? The two hemispheres, all that like ripply dibbly stuff. And it's got a lot of lecithin in there. Okay, it also has vitamin E. Of course, enzymes, we soak the walnuts. I know I say this all the time. Sometimes I feel like a broken record, but we have new people joining us every time. And the purpose of the show is to educate. So I'm sorry if the people that have been so loyal and been watching us since the beginning, they've heard me say this a hundred times, but we soak our nuts to release the enzyme inhibitors that make it a dormant nut. We soak it to release that, so now it becomes a living nut. The living nuts often, seeds and nuts often, have 500 times the amount of nutrients that the given plant has. So when we germinate it, we activate those nutrients so they're, they're more nutritious for us. So easy, breezy, we put in walnuts, one cup of walnuts, one cup of, um, and by the way, these are essential living foods, organic, high quality, Walnuts, these are also dried apricots from Essential Living Foods. We do uh, a cup each, okay? And this is like one of the easiest recipes ever. And then we're just gonna use a little bit of green onion. Green onion, calcium, fiber, chromium, biotin, I mean, lots of good stuff in there. And then we're gonna use some Sacha Inchi oil. Sacha Inchi seeds are, this is gonna be like the new hemp, the new hemp seed, the new hemp oil. It, they're super duper high in omegas. And um, this is a cold pressed oil. You can use this oil or you can use olive oil. What I'm teaching you here, more so than recipes, I'm teaching you formulas and I'm teaching you techniques for raw food, okay? So this could be made with a different nut, with a different um, dried fruit. It can even be made with sun-dried tomatoes. I could put sun-dried tomatoes in there, it'd be good. So there's a lot of different things that you can add to this. I have a couple of questions while sure. you blend. Yes. Um, I request that you uh, put up a chart on your website that gives uh, each nut its own soaking time so that everyone can reference how long to soak their I nuts. I love it. I love it. That's an excellent suggestion. Thank you. Who made that suggestion? Oh my gosh, I'm running. Um, I oh, think it was passive. Kim. Thank you. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Could have been That's an Katie. excellent idea. <laughs> That's an excellent idea. You know, you can't really do it wrong. Um, it's true that almonds are like 12 to 24 hours. In Walnuts Armin. you could do for less than eight. Macadamia you could do for less than eight. Sunflower seeds you could do four to eight. So it is true, it's helpful to have a chart, but like you couldn't do it wrong. If you soaked all your seeds and nuts for 12 to 14 hours, that would be fine. It was Marilyn, by the way, just wanna get you, that Marilyn. straight. Thank you, Marilyn, awesome question. I will do that on a blog um, in my kitchen recipes next week. That's a really great idea. So uh, did I put this in there? I think I did. I did, but I'm just gonna put a little more in because you can't go wrong with the Sacha Inchi. This is an oil for beauty. 
Uh, oil for health and beauty. All right, we turn that on, blend that up. Endive. Endives are really great. That's all we need. Blenderoo. So these are endives. These are a great bitter green. I uh, love them, and I love how they little make shapes like this. So this is, you know, how you could serve it with, if you were going to serve, you know, the soup with the boats around it. So I'll just move the bowl for, for now and show you that we can make these beautiful things uh, in boats. Or if you're not into the endive, what is this? Erica, what's this called? Uh, radicchio, I radicchio. think. Radicchio. Katrina, you're right. So radicchio. So is this a, is this a cabbage? Um, I, I, you know what? I, it looks like it, but I would be hazarding a guess. I think so. It's, but it's not a cabbage, but it's in the lettuce. It might be a brassica. It's so, it's so pretty, isn't it? When it I is saw beautiful. this, I was like, oh my god, this is so perfect for it like any really kind pretty. of like boats or cups or. Uh, I, I, I saw some in the nursery today in six packs. You can grow your own. Oh really? How do you how do you grow them? You, you, from you put them in this. From uh, I like to use starts just because. I mean, maybe I'm impatient, but some things by seed. This by starts, and uh, they're just cute little red cabbage-looking things. You plant them in uh, mostly sun. Mostly sun. Moderate water, easy. How satisfying to grow this! It's so like it's so pretty. So also apricots, you know, typically Americans now, studies say that people are really only getting about 10 grams of fiber a day. You really need to be getting about 25 grams of fiber a day. Fiber, you know, we, we can't say enough good things about fiber because fiber helps you eliminate and keep the colon clear. You know, they say that death begins in the colon. If we have toxins in our colon, if we have undigested, you know, carbohydrates, fats, sugars, all this stuff undigested in our colon, it rancidifies and becomes toxic. So it's called auto-intoxification when we're literally creating, you know, we're, we're toxifying ourselves because our, our colons aren't clean and that leads to all of the degenerative illnesses, okay? So it's really great to, to make sure we're eating plenty of fiber. Uh, apricots also are very high in beta carotene and lycopene. Uh, both of those things help reduce blood pressure again, help reduce cholesterol, really reduce the risk of cancer. I mean, we have, we're seeing so much cancer now. The, the statistic is half. half. Of, I know we have a global audience, and I love that people all over the world are watching the show, and I don't know what the statistics are all over the world, but in America, the statistic now is that half Americans um, have cancer, and we don't need to. Food. Food busts up the cancer. Things like lycopene and beta carotene, phytonutrients, attack cancer cells and turn them well. And that is the truth. Um, Miss Erica Ann, you want to come up here and try one of these? Yeah. See how I did? These are pretty. They're fun. It's like you have a little, you know, especially like for a luncheon or whatever. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I want to try one of these radicchios. It's light, it's simple. I didn't put any salt in it. I didn't put any herbs in it, except for the green onion. So there's a lot you could add to it. You mm -hmm. could add chili powder if you wanted. You could add a curry. But I like it like this. Mm, cranberries, dried cranberries. Yeah, but you think it needs a little more sweet? Well, I don't know. They just come to mind. Mm -hmm. The brightness of it, too. Your lipstick. What's the, somebody in the chat wanted to know where you oh. got it and what color it is. Kachet. Kachet. C-H-I-C-E-T dot com. All natural. It took her 20 years to develop this lipstick. All natural, mostly coconut oil. Stays on. Mariana Kachat has an amazing all natural skincare line. We're going to have her on the show. She's going to give someone a facial on the show. Terrific. She's, uh, her lab is like she seaweed, can, oatmeal, you know, like. She can give me a facial. I'm down. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> done. Thank you. Uh -huh. This is really good. You like? Right? Mm-hmm. Awesome. What are we doing next? Oh, yeah. Now that I'm eating, you know, I'm just like, I can't really talk. I want you guys to know, we've done a lot of sweet things on the show, a lot of desserts. Typically, I show a sweet thing every show, but I'm not going to today. But I want to remind you that we have a lot of quick and easy raw food recipes on our kitchen blog, on our website at blaythraw.com. Our kitchen blog, see this? It's super user-friendly. In the upper right corner, if you just search, like, living lavender fudge or super berry ice cream, a raw ice cream, chocolate pops. We have a lot of really quick and easy desserts on our website. So don't forget about them and make them and let me know how you like them. Sound good? All right, now I gotta check in with my producer. 
Brad Wyman, I'm trying to turn him into a super. You know what I mean? I'm trying to turn him into a super. He's going to join the Justice League. Um, since we started the show, he's lost almost 20 pounds. 22. 22 pounds! I got him eating superfoods. We got him eating chia. 22 pounds. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, this is the point where the fat Jewish producer comes on and says it works. It works. And it's working. Thank you. Awesome. Are you eating your chia seeds every day? That yes, was your assignment? Yes, by a handful. Are you eating them dry? Yes, no. Okay, don't eat, don't, don't eat them. Don't eat them dry. Eat them with dry. water. Yeah, because yeah. they will actually absorb water in your body, mm -hmm. which will dehydrate you. So you want to hydrate them with water. Okay. Are you eating your superfood mix? Not as often as I should. Okay, so this is the spirulina. I know it tastes like uh -huh. um, it, it, spirulina tastes like fish food. Okay, but so this is a cold pressed strawberry flavor extract from Medicine Flower. These cold pressed organic flavor extracts are amazing. So just all you have, first of all, smell this. That's good. That's going to cover up the spirulina. Yeah, it's like good. Yeah, so put three or four drops in there. Put as much as you want, really, but you only need three or four drops. Medicineflower.com, or you can also find Medicine Flower on B Shop Body on Blythrod.com, the orange tab, B Shop Body, Medicine Flower food extract. Do you like do you like to like munch? Are you do you need like a handful of something to like munch? So pumpkin seeds. Ah. Organic raw pumpkin seeds. Munch the pumpkin Yummy. seeds. Better than like munching chia seeds because you definitely want to hydrate them. Love it. So this Thank week you. we're wrecking shit over there. This week <laughs> I I want you to have spirulina every day. Got it. I'm gonna have it with you. Yes ma'am. Cover it up with the strawberry flavor extract. Yes. Mix it also with the camu camu or the acai powder to make it better. Yes. And I also want you to do the five Tibetan rites with me. Everybody's what? gonna do it. You guys are gonna see. Watch this video now. Five I'm gonna Tibetan teach. Rites. It's awesome. Take a look at this video of the five Tibetan rites. I'll explain to you all what that means on the video. Back in the kitchen in a moment.